Hello there and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Unit 8, Topic 3 of AP Psychology, Neurodevelopmental and Schizophrenic Spectrum Disorders. Neurodevelopmental disorders are disorders that start while an individual is developing. These disorders start to show up in an individual's childhood and adolescence. These disorders are primarily associated with the functioning of the neurological system and the brain. Example of neurodevelopment disorders are Autism Spectrum Disorder, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, learning disorders, or intellectual disabilities, just to name a few. Each of these disorders impact an individual differently. For example, autism spectrum disorder often impacts an individual's behavior or how they communicate. This disorder can make it difficult for an individual to interact with others. Individuals with ASD may also repeat certain behaviors, be more sensitive to loud sounds, or become very interested in particular items or information. ASD is now the umbrella term. That includes autism, Asperger's disorder, childhood disorder, disintegrative disorder, and Rett syndrome. Now there are different degrees in severity of these disorders. Some individuals may have mild symptoms while others may have more intense symptoms. This is why it's a spectrum disorder and not just a specific disorder. Next there is ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Individuals with ADHD will struggle with their focus and are more prone to being impulsive. This disorder makes it difficult for an individual to stay organized, stay on task, and focus. Individuals with ADHD are capable of being able to stay on task and focus, but the disorder prevents them from always being able to remain on task. This disorder can cause people to act first and think later. Another type of disorder that you'll need to know about is schizophrenia, which is a disorder that is defined by hallucinations, delusions, and other impairments of a person's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. This is a psychotic disorder, which is a disorder that is defined by a disconnect with reality. Individuals who have schizophrenia have disorganized patterns of thoughts, but do not have split personality. Individuals who have schizophrenia schizophrenia will often appear to be living in their own world. This can cause a lot of stress for the individual, their family, and also their friends. Now there are a couple other different disorders that fall under schizophrenia spectrum disorders, including delusional disorder, brief psychotic disorder, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, and schizophreniform disorder. Each of these have their own symptoms and characteristics that define them, but for AP psychology, the main disorder you need to be familiar with is schizophrenia. Individuals with schizophrenia may struggle with their speech. They might be heard mumbling, saying things under their breath, or saying incoherent things. They also might believe in different delusions, which are distorted false beliefs and experiences, or different hallucinations, which is when an individual thinks they see sensory information, even though there's nothing there. Individuals may also see reduced motivation, emotional reactions, expressions, and may see abnormal actions or motor behavior due to their disorganized thoughts and perception. In order for an individual to be diagnosed with schizophrenia, they have to have at least two symptoms that last for over a month. One thing I want to highlight with schizophrenia and just disorders in general is if you ever hear negative symptoms or positive symptoms, you want to think in terms of math, not necessarily good or bad. For example, a negative symptom of schizophrenia is reduced emotional expressions. This is a negative symptom because it is taking away an individual's emotional expressions. While a positive symptom of schizophrenia would be hallucinations. The disorder is adding hallucinations to an individual's reality. Just try to remember that positive symptoms add something to an individual, and negative symptoms remove something from an individual. It has nothing again to do with good or bad. All right, that's it for this topic review video. Don't forget to answer the questions on the screen and check your answers down in the comment section below. As always, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing and supporting the channel. And make sure you check out my ultimate review packet for more help with AP Psychology. It's a great resource that'll help you get an A in your class and a five on the national exam. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mr. Sin and I'll see you next time online.